The Winter's Tale is a play of two utterly contrasting halves, linked by a long gap of time. What's in bed there? Come on, Wooden. The first half revolves around the court of King Leontes and the story of his fatal jealousy. I blessed him my just censure, in my true opinion. A lack for less of knowledge. How accursed in being so blessed. The second half sees us in a completely different country, 16 years later. Away from tragedy and metropolitan angst to a bucolic world of the bohemian countryside. Each world is a sort of flip side of the other, although containing a lot of strands in common. Hello, I'm Jonathan. I'm playing Polixenes, King of Bohemia. My name's Ian. I'm playing Antigonus. I'm Samantha. I'm playing Paulina. My name is Richard. I'm playing Autolycus. I'm Gemma, and I'm playing Hermione. And I'm Will, and I'm playing Leontes. My name's Ben, and I'm playing the part of Clown. And my name's Alice, and I'm playing Mopsa. I'm Emily, and I'm playing Perdita. Hermione is chaste. Polixen is blameless. Polixenes is a long-term childhood friend of King Leontes, and he also inadvertently sparks Leontes' jealousy. Antigonus is a nobleman of Leontes' court. I'm responsible for the most quoted exit in Shakespeare, which is exit pursued by a bear. The prince, your son, for mere conceit and fear of the queen's speed, is gone. I'm gone! He's dead! <laughs> Polina is a noblewoman in the court of Leontes in Sicilia and sees very much her role as speaking truth to power. And I call Leontes out for his behaviour. There is no truth at all in the oracle! Get you hence, for I must go Where it fits, not you to know Autolycus is a thief, a confidence trickster, and a singer of ballads. And my function within the play is to bring the fun into Bohemia. Perdita is the daughter of Hermione and Leontes. However, she is abandoned as a baby on the shores of Bohemia and is then brought up by a shepherd and his son. At the start of Act Two, she's in love with a young chap called Rorizel, who is actually the son of the king of Bohemia. So their love is quite forbidden and they're trying to keep it a secret by disguising Florizel as a young shepherd. Clown is the son of the shepherd and uh, their first um, role or part of the play is to bring levity to the end of a very destructive first act. Um, he's essentially the village idiot um, with a big heart. And Mopsa is the clown's girlfriend and she's very annoyed that his ex-girlfriend Dorcas is also on the scene. I'm not sure how I feel about the whole situation to be honest. <laughs> and I'm really annoyed about that too. Hermione is the Queen of Sicily and she is also the Emperor of Russia's daughter. And Hermione is very much in love with her husband, Leontes, and really embodies generosity and dignity and humility as well. And I am the King of Sicilia, and I'm also, at the beginning of the play, very much in love with my Queen. We've been married for about eight years, and we have a son, Mamilius. And, uh, in a way, everything is absolutely hunky-dory, but only for a very short time, until things go horribly wrong, because I get horribly, horribly jealous. There is a plot against my life, my crown! And destroy everything in my past, um, for which I then suffer a lot, but I'm ultimately redeemed. The way Shakespeare brings both halves together in a final act of love and redemption is nothing short of pure magic. Mm -hmm.